What is up YouTube, it's your boy Cosmic and welcome to my channel, The Reader's Block 21. Today we're going to be talking about The Man Who Folded Himself. The Man Who Folded Himself is a 1973 book by David Gerald. It was published by Ben Bella Books. It was nominated for the Hugo and Nebula Award the following year. It was also being republished and events that hadn't occurred prior to its publication were added to it. Uh, you know, like the Twin Tower bombings, that sort of thing. It was also turned into an audio format by Audible, which is actually how I got to hear about it. Set in 1975, it sees a young rich kid, Danny, visited by his uncle, who tells him that he is to inherit a lot of money, and all he has to do is keep a diary and be honest in it. Now this doesn't seem like something that's too hard to get a lot of money, it doesn't seem something that is hard to do, and Danny promptly does it. However, when his uncle dies, all he gets is a belt which Danny promptly tries to figure out what it is and that is the, the premise of the book. In the first part you actually see Danny get better. He is asking questions, he is testing out theories. As a character he's actually getting more developed which is what you would expect. Then it gets to the middle bit where it actually starts to get a little bit dramery. You've seen this thing before. You, you know how it ended up last time. The first time he does this whole uh, controversial thing you see it and you're like wow okay kudos on you for writing this but he does something sort of similar different but it ends the same way so it becomes repetitive that way it sort of becomes a drama then it gets to the actual last bit the final act act three you actually get to see danny go back to act one danny He's actually uh, trying to figure things out. He is trying to outsmart his antagonist. And it is just, it's fantastically written. Not a very exciting conclusion, but it does get wrapped up in a bow very well. And that is all I'm going to say about that. To conclude, I would give this book a library rating. That means I'd actually go to the effort of actually getting a library card, actually risking those late fees. But I, it, it's a one-time read. You wouldn't want to keep it to read again and again. To play devil, Devil's Advocate, you could actually say that when he does the first scene, uh, you can actually see him uh, thinking when he's writing this. You can actually feel his brain working if he wrote the first scene and the conclusion was that it didn't work. For it to work when he does it the second time would have been a little bit um, biased, I suppose, which is why it doesn't work out the second time. But other than that, that's my only quip with it. You know, if you're going to go and write something and not have it work out, the second time you do it, at least to surprise you, have it work out. But that's my only quip. Uh, other than that, yeah, go pick it up, read it. You will enjoy it. Maybe the once. It wasn't my cup of tea. Like, comment, share, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.